Hey guys, it's Anton here, and today I'm going to be showing you my hard drive solenoid motor that I built. So pretty much here it is. Some shots of it. Now this is the only mo hard drive motor that I've seen on the net that uses an optical sensor to trigger the coil. Most of them just use some pin that touches the disc. There's some tape, you know, isolates like a mechanical switch. This one uses an optical sensor right there. It's a light dependent resistor in there in a little tube to protect it from the light. And a little red LED right here. So it shines at the disc. Here I'll bring the light here. And you can see if I spin the disc, some of the disc right there is colored with marker. Black Sharpie. And where it's colored, that's when the coil turns on. It's pretty dang easy to adjust. You just color or rem remove a little bit of the marker off the disc. There, I just have a little pin going right into the hard drive spindle. A little bit of a screw right here, connected with a bit of PCB. the power inputs so this is a very simple circuit just the voltage regulator there's the voltage adjustment that's the MOSFET that switches the coil on and off and that's just a comparator circuit using one of the four op amps in the chip there are the two voltage dividers and this is just the, the threshold for the coil and here's just the power input board. Just a little bit of copper clad with three slots gone into it. The actual motor isn't connected in any way, shape, or form, so there you go. This takes two power supplies, one for the LED and one for the coil, because the coil can operate down to about 1.3 volts, but the LED and the comparator circuit needs around 7 volts so I have to use separate power supplies. So let's connect it up. Just the just use clip leads right here. LED power. Common ground. There you can see the LED turned on. And the coil power. And this is going to be 5 volts. And I'm going to turn the power on right now. gets going very well. If I actually turn the light on, onto full, and shine it right into the sensor, the motor actually stops working because the sensor isn't turning on. There it is, the power is still on and it's not working. But as soon as I move the light, the motor starts right up. And then completely opposite, if I take something and block the light, the coil stops triggering. There we go. And just gets stuck in one position. Let's get this going. And I'm gonna drop the voltage down, down to about 1.3 volts. And this is the minimum speed that this motor can run at. Just gonna give it a minimal push. Let's see. Just a little more. There we go. It should be able to run like this for the whole day long. There we go. One point five volts. Because of the optical triggering, there's 
pretty much no friction so it can go really slowly okay let's now get the speed up a bit seven volts twelve volts twenty volts the coil is starting to stink so I don't want to take it past that it is 20 volts sounds pretty good and here is 31 volts Coil smoking, so I'll stop right there. Don't want to fry this thing. But yeah, there it is. Nothing gets warm on the back. Runs real well. And thanks for watching.